happy Friday. Oh my goodness, I have an echo. Where's that coming from? Why is my phone? Oh, because I didn't click. Okay. We may have to put up with a little echo here for just a moment. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can even hear that. Uh, the reason I have my little phone cam going is because I thought I would start off today's sale by scanning the shelves and showing you what we're going to be selling. Um, I just have not found it in the stars to be able to do the preview the night before. So until I get my stuff together and I can do that, I thought this is the next best thing. Because if you're watching this on the replay and you just kind of want to see if there's anything you want to hear about, learn about, yeah, it helps with that too. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we're going to kick this thing off. So stand by. Let me see if I can do this. And what I'm going to do is take You guys should be able to hear me. I don't know why you can't hear me. Um, let me see if I can go. No, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Well, shoot. How come I can't do this? You should be able to hear this. And I don't know why you can't hear this. All right. Well, you won't hear me for a second because I want to put this on full cam. So. Stand by. You won't hear me. You are going to just hear. Yeah, you can hear me now. But if I take.
Okay. All right. I'm back. And I'm going to just sign off of that. I just wanted to try that experiment. And that seemed to be that you guys couldn't hear me. I know. I said, I said there wasn't going to be sound for a minute. Yeah. I don't know why there was no sound. That makes no sense to me that the sound wasn't working when the sound comes out of that darn thing like crazy. But anyway, that's our little preview. And uh, that's what we'll be selling today. So the way this is going to work, I know Melissa was like sending me a message. There's no sound. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, so yeah, so welcome everyone. We do this every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And I know it's a holiday weekend, so I really appreciate everybody that's coming here today to participate. Uh, a portion of your proceeds today, my proceeds, the proceeds, <laughs> go to benefit the Niche Foundation, which is a nonprofit that I formed to help disadvantaged women start their own online businesses. Um, I don't have an update on that for those who are kind of waiting. We are, we're in attorney mode. That's all I can say. Um, I have a pinned comment over in the chat that has the email. I have the email right here under my name and under my face here. Uh, we, we have it down in the description. So many different ways you can find the email to send your YouTube name just as it appears over there in the chat, your real name, and your zip code. We do require those in order to participate. This keeps everything fair and square. It keeps, you know, the trolls out because then we know at least you are a real enough person that you sent over an email. It's not foolproof. Uh, we've had some of those trolls actually send an email and, and bid, but yeah, you know, most of them are lazy and don't go through all that effort. So Tiger, thank you for saying hello to everyone so well. You might see the names over here that are blue and have a, a wrench next to them. I almost said a hammer. I want them to have a hammer. But right now, all they have is a wrench. Those are my amazing moderators. They are volunteers. Um, I, I can't even express how much I appreciate these people. But they help keep this running smooth as silk. Oh, wait. Can you guys not hear me right now? Hold on. Can you hear me right now? Because somebody just said we aren't supposed to hear now, right? You should be hearing me now. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay. Okay, good. All right. All right. And that just proved a point, too. Uh, so I usually do a test of this, but you saw from the time I kind of started asking, could you hear me? And the time you guys heard me say that, there was a little lapse there. So that's called lag. It is something we cannot get away from. So the way that we counter that is I have the awesome mods over here who help manage this whole thing by doing this. I have, let's see, I got my little list here. Our wonderful genie is going to let us know which lot we were on. We are on. And that's super important because if you get behind in the video, which YouTube will let you do, even though it's live, you want to make sure that you are seeing on the screen the item that was typed into the chat, because the chat usually stays pretty current, even if you are behind in the video. So watch out for that. Make sure you're in live chat and not top chat. That'll help you stay current. I, I, there's tips and tricks to staying up with the video so that you don't get behind. Um, if you're on a phone, you can tap the screen and it'll forward you 10 seconds at a time. Um, if you're on a computer, Rachel says the arrow key does it. I've never tested that, but there's ways, or you can refresh and make sure you're back in live chat. Um, let's see. Okay, so Jeannie's gonna tell you what lot we're on. Make sure you're, you're on the lot that we're on. And then I'm gonna do this auction style. We start everything at $1. And we do $1 or more bid increments. There, We got some power bidders that just go right to it and try to scare everybody away. That's perfectly fine, too. But we don't do change. We don't do any increments of cents. Um, this is a no cents zone. <laughs> so $1 starting bids. And then we see where it goes. I don't have a timer. I kind of watch your bidding activity. When I see it slow down, 
I'm going to count it down. I'm going to say going once. I'm going to say going twice. And then I am going to say sold. But you're not going to hear it when I say it. So the way that we deal with that is today we have Joni, one of the moderators, is going to type sold when she hears me say sold, which is going to be pretty close to when everybody hears me say sold. Now, some of you will hear it a little bit before or after. So just make sure when I start counting down, that's when you get those bids in. If you're trying to snipe, you know, that's fun. I get it. Just know that there's a little lag thing going on sometimes and you could lose the item by waiting too long. Even though you hear me counting, I may be a little bit ahead already. Um, you are always welcome to place a higher bid at the end, even if it looks like you're the winning bidder and nobody else's bid. And I will not let you outbid yourself. If nobody else bids, your lowest bid counts. Okay, but we call that kind of a, you know, an assurance bid if there's something that you don't want to lose. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Okay, so because Joni's calling sold, Joni can't be the one who says who the winner is because you see your comments in a different order then they actually come through. And so a lot of times people think, yeah, but I was first. No, nah, it's just you two showing your comment first. So we have the awesome Tiger is gonna be over there letting us know who the actual winner is. And then I look on my screen as well. We match that, we verify that. Very seldom do we have an issue, um, but that's how we call the winner. And then let's see, we've got Bree is over there to answer questions and be on troll patrol. If you cause problem in my chat, you're out of there. And I got some amazing troll patrol moderators that take care of that. And uh, and then my wonderful Melissa is my behind the scenes person. She is keeping track of everything over on a spreadsheet for me, which you can't see, but it's a very important part of this because it's how I send out the invoices when this is all said and done. Invoices will not go out until tomorrow night um, because what I do on these sales is I get everything packaged up first so that I can get accurate shipping amounts for everybody because I don't want to overcharge on shipping and I want to make sure you get your $15 of free shipping credit if you have spent over $50, which is the next thing I was going to talk about. You spend $50 in today's sale, whether it be with one item or 10 items, and you will qualify for, it's basically free shipping. It might not cover completely, but it's a $15 shipping credit. It's sometimes the shipping can be like an extra two dollars over that or, or such um so just keep that in mind and uh and that is that is for domestic and international so that also helps if you're thinking you know what's the shipping going to be to me i'm in canada i'm in the uk well just know that if you spend fifty dollars or more i'm still going to take that fifteen dollars off of the shipping total okay Let's see. I think we're ready to go. Did I miss anything, moderators? Did I miss anything? Let me know if I've missed anything. I think I covered it. I think I got it. I think we're ready to go. We got a lot of stuff to get through today. I will do some choice auctions. And when we get to the first one, I will explain how that works. And that just means that I'm going to have a bunch of different items, but if you don't want all of them, you can bid on just one of them. So we're going to have some fun. I did explain like the just in case is you can place a larger bid at the end, but unless somebody else bids, I don't take that bid. You can't outbid yourself. That's how we kind of do the just in case. Okie dokie. I don't pass over the metal section. I don't do it. You must be watching older videos. I have very much been into the metal section. All right, let's go. Let me pull up my spreadsheet and get to my first item. Oh, 
I didn't think that's what I started with, but apparently that's what I started with. Okay. Let's just start right bing bam off the bat with a little red birdie. Oh, yes. Thank you, Polly. Um, if the bidding goes over $50, we do ask that you switch up to a $5 bid increment. That's so that we can get through everything. Thank you so much for that reminder. Okay, this is a glass bird. I actually don't know who makes it. You see, it is a pressed glass. He has a seam, and he also looks like he might be a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Flashed, flashed on color. See, because it's got a clear bottom. But that's the little birdie that we are starting with. And we've got $2 with Kathy. $2 with Kathy. $4 with Peabody Moss. Peabody Moss. I think that's the new name. Now, you may see me set something down because I don't have my little assistant, Rachel, here kind of checking on those emails. So I will be over here double checking and making sure. I have those emails and I do um, just to make sure that when the auction is over, I have a way to send you an invoice. So super important. All right. We are at, I've got hustle and budget mom at $7 hustle and budget moms at seven. I got, I got her first $8 with Melissa. Oh, Rachel is at, she is a camp counselor at the local, um, it's called Horses for Heroes. It's a nonprofit. They do a summer camp. It's eight weeks long. And she's a camp counselor for six of those eight weeks and having the time of her life. It has been so good for her. I'm so excited. I do have her here for next week's uh, jewelry sale though. They're giving her a week off. All right, I've got Kathy at nine. I'm gonna start counting it down. <laughs> All right, we are going once. We are going twice. Oh, did somebody not do a full dollar amount? Uh oh. Yep, got to do the full dollar amounts. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're going to call this one. Sold. Now, where am I going to go with that? I guess you're just going to go right back in. I didn't quite go in the order that's on my shelf. So I'm going to check something real quick. Okay, got it. Oh, okay. All right. And there's our soul. So the winner is Lottie Ward for $10. And that's how we do this. Okay. I've got a bunny lot. I got a bunny lot. Where's my bunny people? I was going to split these up, but I decided not to. I decided to put them all in one lot. And huh, okay. So there's still some baking soda in the one piece, but let me show you these guys first. So there's this really cute pair of little porcelain bunnies. All right. There's the bottoms. They don't have a maker name. They're kind of, they're kind of thin. They're just really cute. They've got a nice little look to them. And then you're also going to get, and I will empty this out before you get it. It's a baking soda container, I believe. Let's see. It was a House of Lloyd's, 1990 House of Lloyd's. It holds baking soda to keep your, your refrigerator all nice and fresh. You're going to get all three of the bunnies. Let's see if I can hold three bunnies at one time. Three bunnies. There we go. You're getting them all for one money. All for one money. Thank you for jumping in at $5, Karen. We got $5 with Karen. $6 with Warren. I've got six with Warren. And anyone else interested in the three bunny lot?
hey, Melissa, do me a favor on that kind of stuff. Don't type in all caps. Because <laughs> then I have to sit there and read it. But then I figured out that it wasn't. wasn't the, so, and that's something I want to mention too. You guys will see my moderators over there typing in all caps. And that is not that they're yelling at you. It is that it makes it very easy for me to see what's going on over there and kind of call things out too. So, all right, where am I at? $10 with Karen Howard. Let's, let's count it down. $11, hustle and budget mom. Going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call the bunnies. Sold. You know what, bunnies? I'm going to put you over here until we have space on the shelf. I'm going to put the little bird over there, too. There you go. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Had a little bit of action. Come there at the end. I know that's how you guys do it, no matter. No matter how long it takes me to count them down, you're going to wait and get those little snipe bids in. I, I see how it works. And there's our soul. The winner is Linda Barnum. Linda Barnum for $15. Okie dokie. And next we have a set of three cute little sake cups. Sake cups always tend to come in sets of three or five. They like the odd number thing. I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, but I guess they have smaller families. I don't know what it is. They have labels on the side that say that. And then they also are marked on the bottom, which I don't read that. So I don't know what that says, but that's what they have. So you get all three, one money, and we're starting them at $1. Four is bad luck. Okay, isn't that funny? But then here in America, it's all about four, six, eight. Nope, don't try that, Danny. Any interest in the sake cups? Anybody? All right, we're gonna pass them. No interest. Let's pass them on by. Trust me, we got plenty of stuff to do. This. Oh, there's some bids coming in. Okay, all right, all right, I'll go back. Uh, they're pretty standard for what I see as sake cups. They're not that big. Maybe they're just teacups. Maybe they're just teacups. The lag is probably not on my end. The lag, it's because I'm the one doing the broadcasting. That means the lag is on your end. And we're at $5 going once. $6 is with Kathy Spiker first. Kathy Spiker got the six in first. Linda's, or I'm sorry, Hustle and Budget Mom got the eight in first. Linda, you would need to be nine or better. I'm at 10 with Linda Barnum. 10 with Linda Barnum. You, you, you guys, but okay, so let's accept the thing we cannot change. If you're seeing a lag, there's absolutely nothing I can do on my end to change it. Uh, sometimes you can maybe make sure that you didn't kind of get a little behind in the video or refresh because usually lag is on the receiving end. So there you go. Okay, $13 is with Hustle and Budget Mom. We're going one. We're going twice, and we're going to call it doo, doo, doo. sold. Okie dokie. And actually, the lag is to your benefit. 
because that means you have more time to get your bids in because that means Joni's not hearing me say it anytime soon either. So it works in your favor. It works in your favor. There's the soul. I'm not sure who won that. You guys are chatty today. Hustle and Budget Mom for $13. All right. This is a brand spanking new in the package. A Wedgwood Venice Bone China Trinket Box. And I'm going to show you in a second. It's a really, it's not your traditional like Jasper wear. It's porcelain with this really nice blue design with a silver highlight. There's what the bottom says. But it comes in its original Wedgwood box. The original price on this was $44.99. Look at that. Look at that. Um, and it's got, I took it all out of this box. It's got all the original, all the padding that goes. I mean, it's complete. It's complete here. So I took it out, obviously, to show you. But it'll all get packaged back up in its original box and shipped safely to you. So it is the Wedgwood Trinket Box. And we are at $7 with Kathy Spiker. And E. Danny Miller, you don't have to type the dot zero zero, you can just type the number. In fact, it, it'll it slow you down. See, you're, you didn't get that $5 in first because you were typing that dot zero zero. So be sure you're just typing the number. We go by just the number. All right, we're at $15, $18. I see 18 came in with Joan, Joan Griswell. Oh, the neighbor's taking his boat out. You know, it's the first time since I've lived here, I've seen that neighbor take his boat out. It's one of those weekends. All right, $18 with Joan Griswell. That neighbor got a, a home stereo system installed today too, I'm just saying. Not that I'm a nosy neighbor, but you know, some things you just see. All right, we're at $20 with Maria Marsh. $25 with Joan Griswell. I know, it, it. just the box alone is pretty, isn't it? Yes, I agree. It's got that classic Wedgwood look to it. $25, I'm going to start counting it down. Going once. Yeah, it's a big holiday weekend here because people didn't get to go do stuff last year. Going twice. Vegas is wide open again. People are having fun. And we're going to call this one Sold. I'm just putting it back in the box. All nice and cozy and safe. And that's why the little thing is rattling. Because I'm rattling. Okay, just waiting. Waiting for the soul. There it is. Oh, Pam got in there with a last minute power bid. $50 to Pam Avery. And Pam, you know what that means? That means you've got the $15 shipping credit for the rest of the sale, whatever you buy. It can all go into one box and you'll get $15 of shipping credit. So nicely done. Put you back up there. Okay, dokie. Next. I have some apple lovers. You probably saw me pick these up recently. I found them on two different shelves, but they obviously go together. We've got the little apple napkin holder, and then you got the apple salt and pepper holder that comes with the clear glass salt and peppers. Let's see if they say anything on them. They don't. They've just got the regular little chrome looking tops. It's just a cute little set. It's kind of a tin. Let's see what it says. Decorative purpose only. This is not a toy. Okay. I don't think anybody is going to get it and play with it. We're going to do Christmas in July in a couple of weeks too. 
I got that one lining up. All right. Any interest in the apples? There we go. $3 starts the bidding with Barbara Phillips. $3. I'm just going to hold this one up so I can hold it up and show you. They even got the little, this is on purpose, you know, to give the apple that texture. It's to show like a little gold fading in there. It's kind of cute. And then you got the little flower. Here's the back. Yeah, some people will want to play with it. Perhaps. I don't understand that, but okay, we'll go with it. Yeah. Vicki, it looks like you might be lagging a little bit because we are, or maybe not, because it looks like Kathleen just got a power bit in there. Kathleen got her power bit in there. And Vicki is now at $20. And that is for the set. Hello, Miss Pamela. Hey, Miss Pamela, are you having a sale tomorrow? So I can let my people know. I love. Love me some Pamela Blanchard. Yes, Canada Day was yesterday, and ours is 4th of July this weekend. This is the first year, well, this is the first year that I don't have my kids for 4th of July, and I'm like, I'm a little, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I want them to go have fun. And their dad has something really fun planned of block party and stuff. And here, I don't, I don't shoot fireworks by myself or anything. So it's good for them, but it's a little, it's a little strange for me. I'm going to be kind of sitting here alone, taking care of the animals. You are excellent. You guys go visit Pamela Blanchard's channel. She sells stuff on Saturday. What time? I think it's five o'clock Eastern, if I am remembering right, five o'clock Eastern. I can shop on the fourth, I think. I mean, I probably will shop on the fourth, but I think in the evening, everything's going to be closed. Vicki is our high bid for $20. All right, we're going once. I'm just checking something here. We're going twice. Yeah, I could get a little bottle of wine and sit by the pool, huh? I got in the pool yesterday for the first time. For the first time. Hold on. I'm, I'm just, I am double checking something. Hold on. I see a lot of new faces coming in. So I just need to make sure that I have emails. Because if you bid, I need to be able to get a hold of you. Okay. Good. We're good. All right, at the end. Did I say going twice? I thought, oh, you're eight, eight, five o'clock my time. That's what it is. 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Central. I will be there. All right. So I said going twice now. I'm sure I did. So now let's just call these salt. Move it along, move it along, Danny, move it along. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I like this next one. Make it an I love myself day and do what you love. You know, it, it would be a, I have to force myself not to work day. Ooh. For those who have been waiting, guess what will be in tomorrow's video? Yes, you will get a porch project update. <laughs> it's uh, actually revealable now. Although I'm going yard selling in the morning, I'm like, it's not going to look the same by tomorrow afternoon, but that's eh, okay. 
You do hear birdies. Yeah, the birdies are very happy because the, we have bird feeders on the back patio right outside Rachel's room. And the indoor birds talk to the outdoor birds all day long. It's so cute. Okay. Did I say sold? I, I did, right? And we had, okay, I'm losing my mind. I'm talking too much. Vicki Merle got this for $20. What am I doing? Come on, Danny, you're here to sell stuff. All right. I know you guys like this stuff. We have vintage shilling little tins and they don't feel empty. It's not empty. I do not recommend using the spices. Uh, but these got, these got a, I think they're, they're not empty. <laughs> so we have a uh, marjoram, thyme and savory. What is savory? And that can looks even older. Look at look how old that can looks compared to the other ones. Oh, and they all have a little bit of the, like the little, you know, patina going on the top and the bottom. We got patina. It's like that, that one is not, that middle one has got some age. I don't know how you tell how old they are, but you're going to get all three. These are great in a kitchen decor. One of them has a little dent in it. Okay. The marjoram. Marjoram is a little dented. Do have a little. I don't know if that would probably would because it's soft tin, so you could probably get that back out. But and they're scratchy like they're supposed to be, and all of that. Hello, Miss Trisha. Well, it's good to see everybody today. Oh my goodness, is nobody bidding today? Oh, or, oh, did somebody do a power bid? Oh, did I miss it? I was going to say, nobody bidding on these. Oh, I got Linda Morgan at $20. Thank you, Linda. Savory comes in summer or winter and kind of tastes like thyme. So savory just says Claremont quality McClintock Stern. Oh, that one's a McClintock Stern. That's why the thing looks different from San Francisco. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. And we're sold. Okay. Oh, how about a sassy lady? Let's do our sassy lady. Stand by, guys. One second. I got to crawl over my desk here and get something. Don't mind me. I'll be back. Okay. All right. And those went to, oh, it looks like we had a little action right at the end. Looks like Barbara Phillips swooped in for the win. Barbara Phillips for the win. Oh, and there's Jamie. Hi, Sue. Hi, everybody showing up now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Our next item up for bit. Oh, this is, I think this has a little nail polish on it on the top that I did not notice, but I bet I can get that off really easy because this is glass. So this is a really sassy lady. So this is, I am sure I can get that off. Okay. I will, I will get that off before this ships. Uh, on the top, it says, no matter what size I can always accessorize. Says that on that side too. She's got black belt now. Could use a little cleanup inside. It's not perfect. In fact, I will work on that before it goes to. It looks like this was used to hold nail polish. Um, but it's a cool box. And it's a really pretty color. And that's why I included it. Because it's got the blue and the red. So. Thank you, Mama's Treasures. Yeah, I had to dig out some red. I can't do a red, white, and blue sale and not wear red. I have some really cool red, white, and blue Converse, too. But you guys won't see me wear Well, you might see. I'm going to wear them tomorrow, yard sailing. I'm not going to wear my sandals. I'm going to wear my red, white, and blue Converse. There we go. So I can get those on film. <laughs> All right. Are we at $10 with California Thrifter? Or is that California Thifter? Looks like we left out an R. 
let me just make sure we got you. Stand by. California Thifter. If I am spelling it the same as you're putting it over there in the chat, we don't have an email from you. So we cannot take that bid. Uh, so I'm at $12 with Warren Hart. I am at $12 with Warren. Oh, I didn't realize that either, Tiger. Jamie. YouTube does not give good notifications. Even though you set the little bell thing, I got mine set for all and all my favorite channels, it still doesn't send me notifications. Kind of bums me out. I don't like to miss things. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. We will call this one Soul. Over there, get you out of the way. Yeah, the spontaneous is what, uh, that's, that's what those notifications are all about though, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Internet. Okay, I hope all my Charming Tales people are here. Because I have got our first choice option. Now, the way this works, I'm going to show you four different Charming Tales figurines. But your bid amount is for one. So that means if you are the winning bidder, you have your choice of first pick of the one or ones that you wish to purchase. So then I go, it, you know, you pick out the one or one, you can, you can buy them all if you want to, but your bid amount would then be times the money. And then if you only say wanted one of the four, then I go to the next in line and the next in line, and then everybody picks them out. Now, what's really important with these is if you are the winning bidder or an underbidder, please, please, please be prepared to let me know right away which one or ones you would like to purchase. Look at Warren's bidding, and I haven't even showed you the darn things yet. <laughs> okay, here are your choices. We have the little guy putting the bow on the turkey. And this is called Turkey with Dressing. This is a Fitz and Floyd. Doesn't give me a year on this one. So we have the turkey. We have the little dude shoveling the snow. Little mousy dude shoveling snow. And he is called a shoveling we will go. Fitz and Floyd on that one as well. Whoop. There you go. I just love their faces. Love them. All right. And then we have these little guys with the perfume bottle. Oh my gosh, look, love potion. And think of the little mouse is having to squeeze the atomizer with her whole body to spray the other mouse. I love this one so much. Look at these little guys. It is called, I'm under your spell. I'm under your spell. And last but not least, We've got the bunny with the berries. Oh my goodness. That bunny is getting drunk on berries. Look, he's even got like a dad bod. Look at that. He's got the little belly sticking up there. Uh, this one is made by Silvestri, which is the other company. I don't know who came first. I, I'm going to assume that Fitz and Floyd was first. But this one is a Silvestri and it's called the Berry Best. The rest of them are marked Fitz and Floyd. Let's see if this one ha don't have a year. All right. And we are at $31 with Warren Hart. Remember, your bid is for one. Your bid is for one. All right. Winners, be ready. I'm going to check who's blowing up my phone over here. No. Oh, that must be an old message. Okay. Old messages. Old messages. I'm uh, I'm already at $31. We've already got, wait a minute. 
Okay, now you're at, wait a minute. I thought we were at 31. You just back down to 30. Okay, we'll back down to 30. I'm okay with that. So we're at $30 with Warren Hart. 31 with Sue Golombeski. I'm at 31 with Sue. 35 with Warren. Are we all in? Uh, okay. I don't see the retractions. I don't, I can't see any of that stuff through StreamYard that does the broadcast. It's so weird. Okay. It's all good. All right. We're going to count them down. Going once. Be ready to tell me which one or ones you want. Going twice. And sold. And let's see who the winning bidder is. That, that one that you have marked as, oh, I guess there is only one bunny. No, there's two bunnies. So it's berries. So we have the perfume. We have the berries. We have the show snow shoveler or the show or the show snoveler and the turkey. All right. It looks like Warren, you take the turkey and the love potion. Warren takes turkey and love potion. And my backup bitter, who is my backup bitter would be Sue Golombeski. You're, I'm, my brain forgets things so fast. So, Sue, you are the backup bidder at $31. Would you like the berries or the show, the snow shoveler? Say that three times fast. Snow shoveler, snow shoveler, snow shoveler. Come on, do it with me. Sue, would you like either one of these? And then who is that? If Sue does not want either one of these, who is next? Um, Warren, you can have another choice at 30. And then it would be Melinda Hess after that. Oh, she takes the snow and the berries. Sue takes them both. Good choice. Good choice. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for making our first choice lot go successfully. All right. I got a lot of comments. Now, he's got a little bit more than red, white, and blue. I, I confess, I slipped this one in. Uh, he's kind of, his predominant color on the back is everybody's favorite, purple. Uh, but there, But there is red, white, and blue in there. So I went with the patchwork pig uh he is wood he's all hand painted see a little close up there you can see all the work done on the little piggy pig he's about that thin he's got a hanger on the back it's ready to go he could be yours if you are the high bidder and we are at um, and E. Danny Miller, again, if you could just put the number, just put the whole number. Don't put the dot zero zero. Don't need to do that. I've got Roylene at $20 with a power bid. Oh, if the hanger wasn't the way you could hang it. You can take the hanger off. I mean, come on. $20 is where we're at. I've got 33 with Hustle and Budget Mom. 33 is with Hustle and Budget Mom. Oh, it's okay. I just don't want you to miss out getting your bid in because I know typing those extra digits takes extra time. So, I mean, what is it? Fractions of seconds count in an auction. All right. We're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call Little Piggy Piggy. Oh. 
And the winner is, who was the winner? I think it's Hustle and Budget Mom for $33. Yes, it sure is. All right, next we have a cute little dol dolphin. It's so funny when you come up with a word for something for so long, it's hard to say it the right way. Because we just, we call them dolphins. Because that is what Rachel called them when she was little and it kind of stuck. So we threw the extra little syllable in there for, for Rachel. But this is just a nice little pair of, they got this blue glaze, kind of a drip glaze, I guess you would call it. I don't think they're that old. Holds a tea light right there in the center or an air plant or whatever you want to put there. But they're just fun dancing dolphins. And we're starting them at one dollar. One dollar. See if there's any interest. I'll sneak over, take a little sip of my sparkling water. I got two dollars with Warren. I have a confession, you guys. I'm going to put it out there because I'm a little mad at myself. So I used to have a really, really bad Dr. Pepper habit. Like I would drink it all day long. And I was able to wean myself off of Dr. Pepper. And then I was drinking the caffeinated sparkling waters to wean myself off of the soda and then get to where I could just drink the sparkling water with just a little bit of caffeine. I weaned myself off of the caffeine. I was good. I was caffeine free. I was soda free. I have fallen off the wagon. I have fallen off the wagon and I have been buying cans of Dr. Pepper in the morning. And I need to stop myself from doing that. So that I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting it out there now. I'm accountable. So there, I'm going to work really hard to get back off of that stuff, which is bad for me. Dinosaurs in your house are referred to as diamond horse. Gotcha. I love it. All right. We're at $8 with Melissa. Going once. And you guys drink too. <laughs> Do we have bubbly? Uh, the sparkling water bubbly? Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't have quite enough flavor for my, for my liking. Going twice. The soda's like, I mean, there's nothing worse for you than that soda. I'm telling you right now. Mm. And sold. And, you know, um, I'm getting to be a woman of a certain age. And I want to preserve my health because, frankly, right now, I don't have health insurance. And I don't want anything to go wrong. So I work really, really hard at self-preservation and immune system building and all of that stuff and the soda well i know that's pure sugar it is just pure processed not even real sugar it's it's that high fructose corn syrup sludge think of it as sludge in your body mm, yes that's what we're doing to ourselves so i like these I like these simple truth organic seltzer water. Um, this happens to be the blackberry hibiscus, all natural flavors. And it's enough flavor that it's just really refreshing without you like feeling like you need more. Yeah. It's uh, the, the sugar. I think sugar is the downfall of our health in this country. I'm just going to be a little editorial right now. Uh, the processed high fructose corn syrup market, it's in literally everything. Diabetes, heart disease, obesity, you name it. The problems that that stuff causes, ooh, but it's so hard to get foods that don't have it in it too, which is, that's my rant, is that it's so expensive to try to eat healthy. And I wish that were not the case. I want it to be 
cheap to eat healthy and expensive to eat bad. I mean, that would be common sense. But anyway, all right, I'm going to get off of my high horse there. Uh, but that's one of my passions. Oops, I'm going to take one of these out of the baggie. Okay, this is another choice lot. We have four of these. It's They're by Artform. They are the bejeweled trinket boxes. And what we have is um, your bid is for one, but you can you can buy one or up to four. So this is the little star there. And it's titled A New Start. So it must have been like a New Year's. There we go. Release number 31, A New Start. I actually have two of these. Uh, and but one of them the box is a little messed up just FYI they all come with their original boxes they're brand spanking new but that box is a little messed up so I've got two of the stars but check this out I have I really don't want to take these all out of the bag because they've never been out of the bag it's a drum set it's a drum set called hi-hat it's three pieces. I wish that would focus. Come on. Why aren't you focusing? Being silly, camera. So there's the, there's this little, little snare drum guy. I don't know. I don't know the official names of drums. I'm just, I'm just saying things. I think that's a tom tom. Maybe that's the snare. I don't know. Or maybe that's the seat that they sit on. I don't know. But it's a three piece drum set. I've never seen the three piece drum set. And then we have the guitar with a strap. Look at that. If the guitar has a strap, it's called flamenco. Flamenco. This one. Which side opens up? Where do you open up? Oh, you open up right there. So there we go. Ta ta ta. Cute, cute, cute. And we are at. $20 with Roiline. I buy that water at Smith's grocery store, which I, I don't know who the, the underlying corporation is for Smith's, but I think they're called something else in other parts of the country. I don't like tea. I'm not a tea drinker. Cannot, cannot drink tea. You can drink lemonade, but again, then you got the sugar. All right, we're at $20. This is for choice. Be ready with your choice if you're the winner or underbidder. We're going once. We're going twice. And calling them sold. Got a little. I, the drums are fascinating to me. The drums, I love the drums. I think two of them open. Wait a minute. I think on the drums, just two of them open. Okay. There's our sold. It looks like our winner is going to be Deborah, Deborah Heimbecker. $22. Which one or ones would you like? And then my backup bidder is Roylene. So be ready, Roylene. Gatorade Zero is sugar-free. Yeah, but they put a sugar substitute. Sugar substitutes are really bad, too. You got to be careful with the sugar substitutes. Smith's is a subsidiary of Kroger's. Gotcha. She takes the guitar. She takes the guitar, which means we have two stars and a drum set. Two stars in a drum set. Raylene, would you like stars or drums? Stars or drums. She takes a star. So who's my next back up? Ba, 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 ba. Kathy Cooper and Linda Barnum. So Kathy Cooper, would you like the drums or a star? Kathy Cooper, drums are a star. So I'm just like mushing this thing around. 
I'm not seeing any chat action at the very moment. Just kind of waiting for it to catch up. Kathy Cooper takes the drums. All right. Kathy Cooper has got the drums. Anybody else want another star? Who was, oh, Roylene, I'm sorry, because you had said star, and I already offered it to Kathy. So I, I kind of need to honor that. Um, and then, uh, 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 um, Linda, are you interested in the other star? Oh, oh, good. Oh, shoo. That makes me feel better. Linda Barnum, do you want the other star? And if Linda says no, I will offer that other star to, uh, I'll give a number in a second. And then I'll get ready for the next. It really helps me, guys, if you can be ready to go with your answers. Deborah is not answering. Nope, I have not gotten to the Annalise yet. Okay, Roylene, you can have the other star. I really, I gotta, I gotta keep it moving, guys. I can't, I uh, can't wait and wait and wait. And then Linda came and said, "Star." Um, you okay, Roylene? If we give it to Linda, I'm sorry. I know some of it is lag, but. Also, that's why I say be ready, be ready, be ready, because even with lag, there's plenty of time to be ready to tell me just by watching that chat. Okay. All right. How about some owls? We have some owl salt and pepper shakers. Uh, they are missing stoppers on the bottom so they're more decorative they do also have some crazing don't know if that's gonna focus 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 come on you crazy camera Ooh, i can't wait i'm having a new computer built there we go i'm having a new computer built it's gonna have some fancy schmancy abilities that hopefully is gonna fix that owl salt and pepper starting about one dollar any interest keep it rolling let's keep it rolling because we got lots of stuff to get through all right i got seven dollars with e danny miller seven dollars anyone else i'm gonna go fast um we're gonna we're gonna boogie on through i got 10 with kathleen dumas i got 10 with kathleen i'm gonna start counting them down going once Going twice. What did you miss, Shelly? What did you miss? And sold. You know what, Linda? I think maybe just double check that you are up where we are at in the sale because it looks like you are a little behind us if you are just now responding to that. And that could be the problem. Make sure you guys are right up with the current point that we are at by refreshing. By there's what is the thing where you um hold on, I'm gonna look over here and see. It's under the little settings, it's under the little settings thingamajig. If you go to that playback speed and you go to one of the, the faster, like 1.5, 1.75 or even the two, it'll blah, 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 fast forward you up to the current spot in the sale. Uh, and that can help too. Um. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm reading a note from, from Monterey's. No, we got Jeannie's doing that. Tiger, you just keep going with announcing the winners. You just keep going with announcing the winners. We're all good. All right. I don't know how old that message was that I just read, but there you go. Okie doke. We have some beautiful 
coasters. They are all glass and they are all sea life, seashells, including a beautiful sand. They are blue. It's let me get something white to put behind it. So you can see how pretty the blue is. So, so we got a sand dollar. We've got a conch shell. We have a scallop. And we have a starfish. There we go. It is a really nice set. I think I looked up at one time and found the, a designer that made a very, very similar set, but I cannot confirm and I don't remember who it was. All right, we're at $10 with Mary. They are pretty. I would have kept these if I had any more space to put any more ocean stuff, but I don't. I've got $12 with Polly's Projects. $12 is with Polly's Projects. We are going to count them down. I got 14 with Warren. All right, let's count them down. Going once. I got Annie P at 15. We're at 15 with Annie P. And we're going twice. All in, all done, because we're going to call them So. All righty then. All righty then. Oh, I hope, I hope I have someone here who's got a Westie. Do I have any Westie lovers? Thank you, Shelly. Warren got in there at $20. $20. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, Pam, I didn't, I didn't see you bidding. So a just in case bid really, um, is your bid 26? I'm confused. I'm confused. Annie P, what are you saying is after I said sold? Oh, good. I got some Westy people. I got some Westy people. Let me just make sure we're, I, I'm confused, Pam, if you're, if that was a $26 bid. We don't do like the, the, no, Warren's bid was before the sold. I got real time going here. It was actually quite a bit before the sold. So you might maybe need to refresh. Okay, so the JIC kind of confused me and probably confused others. So make sure you don't use that. You don't, you don't need to put any, everybody, this is for everybody. No dot. Zero, zero, no other letters, no no saying just in case, none of that. Just put a number that really will help any confusion. Yeah, she did say 26 is her bid, and I will accept that bid because she did put that bid in. So it looks like our winner is Pam Avery for 26. Yeah, Pam, so I'm using uh I'm using a software that shows everything in real time and it's it's very accurate. And then we confirm that with the other moderators. So um, it was definitely before I said sold. Okay. We've got three items that are all Westy items. So that's why I'm putting them together. This is my favorite right here. Oh my gosh. Look at that little guy. And this is by Katie. I can't read the name. Katie something painted this. Something Garland, McGarland, McGarland, maybe. So you get the tile that's ready for hanging. You get the little door stopper guy that says welcome. On both sides, it says welcome. So there you go. And 
you get the adorable little, it's like a little pin dish, little trinket dish. Could even be a coaster. But well, look at him. You get all three of these adorable Westy items. For one money. We don't do just in case. Like I know there's other sales. The just in case works differently. You can place a bid at the end that's higher than a previous bid. And if no one else bids, you don't pay that. It so in essence, it is a just in case bid. We just don't we don't call it that. It's uh we just don't let you outbid yourself. So you can put a higher bid to protect yourself, um, but it's not like what the other say. That's why I don't want to use that term. Because other sales, like, they do it in, like, an increment kind of system. And I don't want to cause any confusion. I usually wait until you see the sold before. I did wait until I saw the sold. I did. Okay. So I've got $10 with Polly's. $10 with Polly's. You sure can, Irish girl. If you sent it and you got the response, the auto response, you're good to go. Where's my Westie people? Nobody else wants the Westie stuff. Gosh, I thought this stuff was so cute. All right, we're going to count it down. Let's count it down going once. Going twice. I'm just making sure my chat is not frozen before I call so good okay. Aha! I see another bit came in. Sold to Carla C is who I see. Hi, Carla. This is a little sweet pair of, let just see. Yeah, it's just a label schmoosh. My girl this morning uh, was cleaning up all this stuff. She missed one. Anyway, these are by Libby. Now, there is quite a bit of the gold is kind of rubbed off. As you can see there, they are Libby because, well, they are marked with the little L on the bottom oops oh wait i thought it wait i thought i saw an l on the bottom did i not oh i may be lying you know what that's a 55 was i seeing things last night take that back i don't know if these are libby that's not an l i made a mistake uh there's just some numbers on the bottom so i don't know who done these i mean it's it could be libby but who knows we are sending them. We're sending them. We are starting them for one dollar. I'm reading. I'm reading chat over here. All right. Let me double check. We're bidding on the juice glasses. Unfortunately, I can't hold them up and search the email at the same time. So let me just double check the emails that came through real quick because a couple of you are worried about it. Carolyn Harmon. Yes, I got your email. You should have got. I, I got your email twice. You should. It might have gone into your spam folder. Sometimes you have to check your spam folder. Um, but your email did come through, so you're good. And Irish girl, I have yours as well. You guys are all good to go. Okay, doka. All right. Did my check-in. Um, they are painted. Yeah, I would say they're, I don't see any scratching, but I would say they're flashed blue, but I don't know a hundred percent. The blue is, I don't know if they flashed it, they did it. Yeah. I'm going to say it's flashed. All right, no interest. 
I will pass them. Pass. All right. So next, we're going to go to, oh, how about a glass apple? I'm just double checking. Sometimes I catch stuff right when I go to sell it. We just have a beautiful glass apple. The little green on the top. Turkish teacups, that may very well be who they are. There is your pontal bottom basey thing going on here. Hello, Vintage and Vino. I do not have my helper today. She is a camp counselor at summer camp, working with like four, five, and six-year-old children. <laughs> and she's having a blast. It was so cute. She got a little craft. I saw it in the car. Like, she doesn't share this stuff with me, but she left it in the car. She had this little fan that one of the kids had drawn on it. I'm so glad you're my counselor again. Oh, warms his mama's heart. She needed this and she's making some friends. It's spectacular. I've got Deborah at $20. Deborah is at $20. Let's count it down. Going once. Oh, you could. You could add whatever you wanted to it. You could paint little flowers on it. You could paint mushrooms on it. Oh, I'm just saying. Going twice. And sold. Hello, Gaylene. Nice to see you. Ooh, lag is bad today. There it is. There it is. Had a little action going on at the very end. I couldn't say anything because, uh, you guys hadn't seen it yet, but let's go on to Deborah Heimbecker for $23. Next, we have a lovely little creamer and sugar. And it's really funny because they are made in Japan, but they've got the windmills on them. Like, I really want to know the story behind that. Like, what? What made the Japanese do the windmill stuff was being done by, you know, like Delft. There is the, there's the bottom mark on there. And I just saw it's got, it's got some schmooge over here that I can feel, but I don't, I'm not sure what that is and why it's there. It probably will come up. I'm just going to point it out. These are in really good shape. No chips, no cracks. There's your mark on the bottom of this one. You do not, Carolyn. Once you are registered, you are registered. Only need to do it one time. Because I because I, I store it in a separate folder in my Gmail account so that I can just go search for you if I need if you buy something and I need to find you. Yeah, you know, they were just copycatting something. All right, where are we at? Oh, I did, did, did. That's true. They had to do what they had to do. I got Vicki Merle at $10. Oh, here we go. $12 with Gaylene. Golden Briar, 15. Golden Briar, I'm just going to make sure real quick that I have your email. See, normally Rachel does this part, and I don't have to, like, step off camera to do this. But, now yeah, we do what we got to do. And I do. Thank you so much for sending that. You are good to go. I am at $18 with Joan Griswell. Joan got in first. And Vicki Merle's at 20 Vicki's at 20 they have a Dutch style windmills. Oh, they have Dutch style windmills in Japan. They do? Really? I did not know that. 
I did not know that. That's very interesting. Very interesting. I guess a windmill would not have been specific to just Scandinavian countries. I, I guess the windmill would have, yeah, everybody used windmills. There we go. Okay. Learn something new every day. Precious lavender buttons is at 28. 28 is where we're at. I'm going to start counting them down. Jones in at 30. All right. We're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call this lot sold. Where am I going to put you? Let's put you back over here in your corner. How about that? Where you're nice and safe. And the winner is... Dum, dum, dum. Need some Jeopardy music. Gotta come up with some lag music. Like some soul, some soul music. Cruising. Okay. Uh, $30 to, nope, wait, nope, yep. <laughs> I see, you can't outbid yourself. $30 to Joan Griswell. I got it, I got it. I thought when I first picked this up, it was a bank. And it's not a bank. It's uh, it's just a souvenir piece. It is a brass souvenir piece of the U.S. Capitol, uh, and that says CC Copyright 91. So it is a vintage piece. Yeah, you know, I thought. Wait, is it a bank? No. That's. It looks like that would be a bank, but it's not. That doesn't go anywhere. So that's what it looks like. And then the bottom has Cornell Creations. So this is good to know that if you ever get something like this, that has that CC, but doesn't have the label on the bottom, it's Cornell Creations. So there we go. I got $5 with Brie. Oh, and just FYI. I got a comment. My moderators are, there are people like you. They have no advantage if they bid. They are allowed to bid. They are allowed to buy things too. They, there's nothing, they don't have any timing advantage. They don't have any special, you know, like I'm not going to take their bid over somebody else's kind of thing. They bid just like anybody else who's bidding over in the chat. So there's no, I mean, they're my favorites. I got to just say that. But <laughs> I don't play favorites. Okay. It doesn't open. No, it doesn't open. It does not. There's nothing. It's solid. And it feels like the base, I can feel like this is open under here. That slot is where the machine guns came out. What? Okay. Take your word for it. And they don't get an employee discount either. That is so true, Tiger. <laughs> All right, I'm at $6 with Gaylene. I'm at $6 and we're going once. And we're going twice. And let's call it sold. I know you're joking. It was a good joke. I liked it. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. What happened? Something happened. That's not what's supposed to be there. Hang on. Stand by. We have an issue. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. But I'm fixing it. Sorry, G. Okay, we're going to do another choice lot. 
There's my soul, Kathy Spiker, for eight dollars. All right, here are the choices. And again, your bid is for one item, but you can you can take one, two, or three. It'll be times the money. And uh, you have your first choice. And then we move to the underbidder. So please be ready to give your choice. We have the French Bulldog Planter. He's by a company called Garden Ease. There he is under there. Got a little bit of his tag left. But there we go. We got the little Frenchie. We have now Rachel and I kind of go back and forth on whether this is a llama or an alpaca. She says alpaca, I say llama, and I say it is whatever you want it to be if it ends up in your hands. So it doesn't have a very large planter opening, maybe for an air plant or maybe even a succulent. No mark on the bottom. And then last but not least is this cutie patootie little, I'm calling it a butter dish. I don't know. Is it for dog food or is it a butter dish? Somebody said, oh, that's for dog food like a little loaf of dog, I don't know. I I call it a butter dish, and he's got this little guy. I'm not exactly sure what kind of doggy that's supposed to be. It's a little dachshund looking, a little bit, but maybe not, could be a mix. Those long ears are throwing me though. The long ears are throwing me, but you're gonna get your choice. Butter dish dog, French bulldog, planter or llama planter that is your choice and uh, oh a basset you think well it could it could it could it could be a basset i guess like i could see that i could see that i could see that or see he can be whatever you want him to be your dog would break it if he thought there was food in the butter dish. All right, I'm at $16 with Golden Briar. I'm at $16 with Golden Briar. Going once. Be ready. Be ready if you are the winning bidder or underbidders. Be ready to tell me your choice. Going twice. I want, I want an alpaca someday. And sold. So it looks like the ones who need to be ready are Golden Briar, Maria Marsh. See if anybody else came in. Okay. And there's my soul. And Hustle and Budget Mom came in at $20 and wants the dog planter. Thank you. That's the way to do it right there. So my underbidder, I had, nope, I had Hustle and Budget Mom. Hold on. Discrepancies. Tiger, I've got, I've got Hustle and Budget Mom came in at 20 on the dog and got the dog planter. Gaylene would be my underbidder. So Gaylene, I have, you guys aren't hearing. It's so, it's like you guys are chatting and it's like I'm talking, but you don't hear me yet. You don't hear me yet. <laughs> um, you'll hear me in a second. You don't see her bid? It's there. It's right before Brie gave the choices. Yep, it's there. Um, but Gaylene, do you want, Gaylene, do you want the llama or the butter dish? Yeah. Well, you know, in this case though, she was saying what her choice was, so it's fine. No, nope, yeah, you know what? I'm okay with it because I knew exactly then what she wanted on the choice lot. Gaylene wants them both. Gaylene wants them both. The thing is, if you... If you give your choice while you're bidding, that can that can cause like some bid increments to, you know, the competition to change. 
It can be a strategy. It can be not a strategy. So just be aware of that if you're going to put in what your choice is while you're bidding, because that can change how other people bid against you and such. So I'm just saying, I'm trying to like give you strategy to kind of work out there. All righty then. Oh, okay. I actually had gotten this to sell back around Valentine's Day and I never got to it. So now we're going to do it. Now we're going to do it. It is a slag glass piece. It is a heart. It is pretty phenomenal. Uh, I love it. I just don't decorate with hearts. Um, or I would probably find a place for this out on my porch project. But the heart theme isn't really a theme for me. All right. And I got 25 with Roylene. 25 with Roylene. It's better to make it easy on me. I'm just saying. Because I got, because I'm on that lag thing. So if I know, like I can start talking to the next person before you ever see it, that's super helpful for me to keep this thing moving. All right, I've got 26 with Barbara Phillips. I got 26. I'm sorry, Mallory Crawford got the 26 in first. My bad. My bad. Yes. I invoice via PayPal, but that's just how the invoices go out. You can pay with a credit card. You can pay with your PayPal balance. You can pay with a debit card, all different ways using that. And you don't even need to have a PayPal account. You can check out as a guest when you get the invoice. All right. I've got $30 with Roy Lean going once, going twice. I see 31 with Ladale. All in, all done. We are going to call this one sold. I got lots of glass coming up, you guys. I know you love your glass. The glass is a coming. I promise. All right, just waiting on that old lag, and I'm going to take a sip. And figure out who's blowing up my phone again. Oh, you got the my bad for me. Do I say that a lot? You know how you sometimes you say stuff and don't even realize how much you, you say it? It's the kid's dad going, when are you bringing them? Like, uh, dude, dude. Doing a sale. Answer you later. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> um, okay. There's the soul. It's that lag. It's that lag. It can work in it can work in your favor though. We got Roylene, $34 on the heart. Okay, okay. How about a chicken? Rooster, rooster, chicken, gravy, sauce, sauce, gravy kind of dude. Uh, he is not marked, not labeled, just a very clean, plain white rooster gravy container for chicken. If you don't want roosters, then we can just call him a chicken. Very, very clean. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. Or you could put plants in this. You could put succulents. You could put, you know, you don't have to use it for a gravy boat. And Debbie Martinez really wants them. Make sure, confirm your $26 bid, and I'll just start the countdown. Confirm that you meant 26, and I will count it down, Debbie. Just call it a foul. Foul! If Debbie Martinez confirms that, I'm going to count it down for clucking sauce. <laughs> yes, yes. All 
I, cause I also want to make sure Debbie knows like, like sometimes that can be that you're on another item and not caught up. Okay. She says, yes. So we're going once we're going twice and we're calling him sold. Thank you for that. I ran out of space up there. Okay. I'll wait till I make some more space. And I'll get the next little group. For, oh, this will make space because I can pull these out of here. Get these over here. This is some really bad lag today. You're right. This is some really bad lag. And sometimes one of the mods will lose their internet and we don't quite figure it out. So if you, if other mods, if you already heard me long ago say sold, might need to step in and throw it in there because there it is. Okay. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Wowza. Okay. We're going to do another choice. You guys are getting really good at the choice lots. And uh, I really appreciate you being ready to tell me what your choice is at the end. I have four more bejeweled trinket boxes. Here are the choices. We have the fireman's hat. Fireman's hat opens like that. Looks like that on the bottom. We have the Cubanos. Everything has the box, you guys. I don't need to show you the box. They all have their box. Cubanos 1868 cigar box. Like so. Like so. They all have all their original packaging. I took them out of the packages to show them to you. We have the Pagoda. This one is really cool. There's your little, how it opens. My favorite. A two-piecer. Look at this. So you've got the watermelon. So you've got the slice of watermelon and the watermelon. Voila. So we've got watermelon, watermelon. We've got cigar box. We've got pagoda. And we've got fireman's hat. And we are at 15. I'm at 15 with Kara. 16, 18 with Maria Marsh. I'm at 18 with Maria. 20 with Kara. I'm at 20 with Kara. Twenty-five is with Pam Avery. Twenty-five is with Pam. 25 with Pam. Twenty-six is with Deborah. See a couple of you saying out. So we're gonna count them down. Be ready with your choice. Be ready with your choice. We're going once. We're going twice. And Sold. All right. See who we ended up with. Let me put this over here while I'm waiting on you. Just got to wait for that sold to be typed in. Again, it's gracious. Joni, you got some bad leg going. Thank you, Bree. Thank you. Thank you for stepping in and putting that. Okay. Pam wants the watermelon. Pam wants the watermelon. My backup bitter is who? Yeah, Joni, your leg is like super bad right now. 
So we may need to let Bree do the sold. Um, let's see, my backup bidder, Deborah. Deborah Heimbecker. And then it looks like Gaylene after that. So Deborah, um, Fireman, Pagoda, Cigar. If you were the backup bidder, if you could just let me know which one you want. Deborah passes. If you were a backup bidder, if you want the fireman hat, the pagoda, or the cigars, please let me know. That will just, if you were a backup bidder, just let me know now. And then I'll go back and say who was first. Anybody want the fireman hat, the cigar box, or the pagoda? Warren takes the pagoda. I'm going to say if nobody else is stepping up. Hold on one second, though. Let me see. Can we do 15? Okay. Oh, see, now I just opened myself up. Um, let me look. Gaylene. Gaylene wants the... Okay, Gaylene, you were the underbrow, so you're, I'm going to give you the... The pagoda and the cigar. Pagoda and cigar. Nobody for the fireman's hat, huh? All right, I will pass on the fireman's hat. Probably fun for next week. Mallory, um, you want to be 20 on the fireman's hat? Can, <laughs> oh. Do you want to be, you want to be 20 bucks on the fireman's hat, Mallory? I'll sell it if you'll do 20 bucks. Otherwise I'll pass it till next week. Okay. She says, sure. Perfect. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here comes the glass. I can't even tell you guys how long it took me to figure out what the signature was on this piece of glass. This is iridescent. It's so hard to see the color, but when I tell you it's absolutely stunningly gorgeous blue, let me tell you, it is an iridescent. It is Messalini Glass Studios. The date is 1988. You can see the little signature there on the back. Um, I'm trying to just show you that. It's almost like the Tiffany Favreau. There you go. You can see that iridescent veining in there. Really a stunning piece of glass. I've got someone ate it. Who, what, huh? Oh, you're talking about the little rolled edge. So this is like a signature thing of theirs. They roll the one little, little edge to give it a little artistic flair. It's artistic flair. I'm at 25 with Jeannie's Galleria. 25 with Jeannie. I mean, I'm, it's much better in person than this camera is showing. I will just say. I picked it up because I thought it might have been fire and light when I first kind of saw it, but it's not. I've got $30 with Mallory. Hi, Lana. I'm at $30 with Mallory. $35 with Jeannie. 35 is with Jeannie. I'm going to count it down, guys. Woo! There went all that paper. Going once. Going twice. And sold.
Hi, Julia. And the winner is there. We got it again. Uh, Mallory, Mallory Crawford for $40. Congratulations. You will love that piece. I'm telling you, it is a stunner in person. Okay, I thought this isn't a red, white, or blue, but it is the whole reason we celebrate the 4th of July. It is for the men and women who gave it all so that we could have it all. And uh, this is a Scentsy. See right there. The name of this Scentsy is called Service and Sacrifice. Service and Sacrifice. Got the bulb in there. Oops. Why is the bulb running around loose in there? What are you doing, bulb? Get yourself where you're supposed to be. There. Now we got the bulb in place. All right. Ah, uh, doing a bit of laundry before taking your last swim in San Diego. Bittersweet, huh? Bittersweet. Crazy it didn't work out that this was one of my times that I could go to San Diego and meet you. But... I'm not sure when I'm going to get to San Diego. Jordan's actually doing a bunch of traveling, so it's hard to coordinate with her. I'm at $6 with Bree. $10 is with Sherry G. I got Sherry G first at $10. $12 with Tabitha. Yes, for sure. We'll coordinate. I've got 15 with Roylene. That's tape, you guys. I left tape because the top was taped on. And I think I'm getting this stuff all cleaned up really good. And then I get to sale day and it's like, oh, wait a minute. There's still some schmooze on there. I've got Kathy Spiker at 25. Kathy Spiker is at 25. Here we go. I got it off there. Most of it. <laughs> It'll be off before I ship it. $25 is with Kathy Spiker. Going once. Going twice. I see Roylene at 27. And all in, all done. We're going to call this one sold. Stay. Did Jordan go to her mod? No, she goes in August. She goes August. I want to say August 8th is her uh, Coco Rocha modeling camp. Jordan has been really, really sick. I mean, for weeks now. And I'm a little worried. I, I, I literally guilted her into going to the doctor, going to get some blood work done, going to get a chest x-ray. Um, they think, they think she possibly had COVID even though she got vaccinated, um, and that they can't really test because she's vaccinated. So it's going to show positive because she's got the antibodies. And so she's just a mess. Poor girl. She's just miserable. All right. That went to, hold on, let me see. Uh, Karen, I see Karen stiff for $37. Yes, that's what I see. 37 to Karen stiff. So she has got to get better because she does. She's going to Florida with me next, not next week, the week after. And then she's got her modeling camp. Oh my goodness. That poor girl. She's got to, she's got to get it together. All right, this is going to be a choice lock. We're going to go quick on this one. There is like dust flying here. It's making me want to sneeze. All right, uh, let me explain these napkin rings. So the first set are these blue beaded. I did not, I mean, they're all strapped together and I didn't take them apart, um, but they're all is really intricate beadwork. There you go. I'm going to sneeze again. I am. 
<laughs> okay. And then next is these really interesting inlaid shell. But I have to show you one of them is boo-booed. One of them is missing some of its layer, veneer, whatever that is. So there's six of the red or there's four of the blue. And you get your choice. You're bidding on one set. It could be stress making her sick for sure, for sure. She's been very stressed out with her work. Her job has been a monster, so it's very possible it's contributing. All right, so you're bidding on the blue set or the red set. And we are at $5 with Hustle and Budget Mom. Uh, $8. No, wait. No, you're at five. E. Danny Miller's at six. Hustle and Budget Mom's at eight. Eight dollars is with Hustle and Budget Mom. Keep bidding. Hold that thought. I can still see you. I can still see you. <laughs> I'm just over here, just watching things fly. Sherry G's at 10. $12 with Hustle and Budget Mom. I got 12. 12 with Mom. 12 with Mom. All right, let's count them down. Going once. Going twice. and so and then be ready if you are the winning bidder to let me know which is your choice and under bidders then be ready if they didn't pick the one that you wanted and there's my sold i've got 15 with Hustle and Budget Mom. You are the winning bidder. You want the red or the blue or both. And then my backup bidder, my backup bidder is Sherry G. So blue or red, blue or red. She wants the blue. Sherry G, did you want the red? Did Sherry, Sherry G, do you want the red? And who is after Sherry G? Um, you want the red. You got it. Okay. Save me having to go back and find who was next. Okay, okay. I have a pair of cobalt blue wine glasses. Dun, dun, dun. These are actually these could be used as candle holders too. These are fairly heavy uh, wine glasses slash candle holders. I believe they are Polish glass. And I believe that based on the little, see the little blue, how it goes down into the little decorative, all my technical terms, you guys, my brain just doesn't think fast enough. Um, so I'm fairly certain these are Polish glass, although they have no signature, no label, no nothing. They're just purdy. They're purdy glasses. There we go. And we've got six, ten dot. You, you threw me there, Barbara. <laughs> oh, STEM. Wait, are you bidding ten? Okay, I'm so confused. Make sure you type in a number. Help me out. Type in a number. I've got uh, $20 with Maria Marsh. Maria got her $20 in there. I'm at 20 with Maria. <laughs> I know. Come on. If you only got stuff you needed, you wouldn't get anything, right? I'm just saying. All right, we're at $20 with Maria. 
21 with Warren. 21 with Warren. I'm going to count them down, guys. We have lots more glass to get to and some Annalise and some more fun stuff. So we're going once. I see 23 with Mallory. Going twice. Get your bids in. This is your last chance before I say that should take care of the lag. Sold. And the winner is Tabitha Wilcox for $30. Tabitha got them for $30. Nicely done. All right. We have another choice lot. Your choice is either for, oh, oh no. Is that the way you're supposed to be? Hang on. Gosh darn it. I hate when I find something right when I go to sell it. I'm still going to offer it. That's why I started at a dollar. Covers me. We got Ziggy. But see his feet? And I, I think that's not supposed to be like that. But maybe it is. But it feels rough. So I'm going to say that's not supposed to be that way. So you've got the Ziggy Heart Bank. It is vintage. It's got its stopper on the bottom. It's got his cute little doggy. So your choice is either Ziggy or, bye Julia, wave to Jordan for me. You're probably really close to her. Uh, and then we've got the little Cherished Teddy Mickey Mouse Club Edition with the Mickey Mouse balloon. I mean, how stinking cute is that? It is, and I don't normally pick up Cherished Teddies, but the Disney factor is what got me on this one. See if I can get it to show you the bottom there. 2004. Ooh, if I could just hold still, not make you dizzy. Okay. I've got $10 with E. Danny Miller. He just, it's your brain just wants to type the dot zero zero, doesn't it? You meant $10. It is choice. Your bid is for either the Cherish Teddy or the Ziggy. Or you can have them both, but it'll be times the money. All right. Let's count them down. Make this one quick. Going once. Going twice. Get those bids in. Because we are calling this lot sold. And just be ready to tell me, do you want the bear or the ziggy? Bear or the Ziggy? I'm going to get the next thing ready. And thank you, Jay. There's my soul, Barbara Phillips. Barbara Phillips got the bid in at $15. Do you want the bear or do you want the Ziggy? Bear or Ziggy? And then my underbidder is Carla C. She wants the bear. Carla C, do you want Ziggy? Carla C gets first dip. Okay, she says no. Um, Melinda Hess, you're next. And after that is Decor and More on the Ziggy. Melinda, did you want the Ziggy? And then, no, Decor and More, did you want the Ziggy? Did anybody want Ziggy? Was anybody bidding on Ziggy? E, Danny Miller, were you bidding on Ziggy for $10? E. Danny Miller gets first chance at $10. Otherwise, I'm going to say, anybody want Ziggy for $10? Poor Ziggy. Poor little Ziggy. 
She says yes. Okay. She's going to give Ziggy a good home. That makes Ziggy feel so much better. Thank you so much. Okay. We have a pair of striped candlesticks. Now, someone had told me who they thought this pattern was. I think they said it was like a Dansk pattern, but they are not marked. They are not marked. No, indeed. Little dots inside there. Um, but those are, I think those were put on by the store that I bought them from because I think they were supposed to have like a price tag on them. That's interesting. But there's nothing on them. So there's the bottoms. You can see there's, there's no markings. They're just a very nice, clean accent pieces. Starting them at a dollar. Any interest in the candlesticks? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got more glass coming up. More glass is coming up. I know you guys like the glass. All right, you guys like the candlesticks. I've got Linda Barnum at 16. I've got Linda at 16. They look like the Northwood color stripe. Oh, okay. There you go. $16 with Linda Barnum. I'm going to count them down. Ooh, I'm at $20 with Sherry G. All right. We're going once. The bid right now that I see is $20 with Sherry G, but that could change. We're going twice. Let's see if it changes before I say sold. Got a little action in the lifetime. In the still of the lag. Whoa, whoa. There we go. There's my soul. I got Sherry G for $22. Next is a choice lot of the bejeweled. Here's the boxes. They've got their packing. When I say the packing stuff, they got the paper and the little, you know, little inset and all that stuff in there. Your choice is for either a seagull with bejeweled eyes. He's really cool. Hold on. Got to open him up, show you the inside. There you go. Stands on his little feet. So we've got a seagull. Or we have a swan. We have a bejeweled swan. And the swan opens up like so. All right, so your bid is for either, either a seagull or a swan. Seagull or swan, which will it be? I had to put the birds together. I've got $12 with Roiling. $12 with Roy Lee. $13 came in first for Linda Barnum. $14, no, uh, $15 with Warren Hart. $15 is with Warren Hart. $15 is still with Warren Hart. I think we got some lag going on. It's time to, for some of you guys to refresh. $16 is with Linda Barnum. 16 is with Linda. 17 is with Nell. 17 is with Nell. 20 with Warren Hart. I've got 20 with Warren. Remember, be ready to give me your choice. I'm going once. I'm going twice. And we're calling this lot. Sold. You know why my phone still going up so? Oh, I just sold something. I sold some frogs. I sold some frogs on eBay. I had my sound downer. You would have heard the cha-ching. 
Okay, let's see. Soul, Barbara Beard. Would you like a seagull or would you like a swan or would you like both? Seagull, swan, or both? And then my underbidder is Warren. Barbara, please, please, please. Then we're going to do some more. She wants the swan. Warren, do you want the seagull? Barbara takes the swan. Warren, do you want the seagull? Yes, perfect. I had a feeling that worked out well. Okay. We have some cobalt blue candlesticks. Bum, bum, bum. These are pill. What is this? <laughs> paper stuff down inside. We don't need that. So these are cobalt blue. They are columns. Now these are not that old. They are made by Ambria and they have their label on the bottom still. So you can see that there. So they're not like super old, but they are really cool and they are cobalt blue. And I know you guys like your cobalt blue and we start them at $1. Linda likes them enough to start them at $12. There we go. We're starting them at $12 because Linda started them at $12. And if no one else is interested, I'm going to count these down and keep it moving. So anyone else interested? We're at 15 with Sherry G. 15 with Sherry G. Just go close up for you there. Show you the pillar. There's the base. You can actually use these as bases too. They are hollow all the way through. So you could put flowers in them. I'm just saying. All right. We are at 16 with Linda. Sorry, Maria. Linda got the 16 in right ahead of you. Looking for 17 or better. I'm going to count them down. I'm going once. Going twice. And let's call them sold. We got some fun stuff, fun stuff coming up next. More glass, more glass. Don't see my sold in there yet. There it is. Uh, looks like Sherry G for $20. She got there first. All right. Okay, another choice lot. This one will be fun. You have three pieces of glass to choose from including a little this is a very orangey red it was it was borderline not being red enough to be in the sale but then i thought you know let's go with it where's my paper so i can show you hopefully like my shirt yeah i guess it is pretty red i don't know it's see what i mean though it's like an orangey red even the top has a little hint of like yellow but that's your, that's your first choice, okay? It's kind of a cased glass. It's thick and heavy like the old vintage pieces. There's your pontal. There's your little toppy top. Your second choice is, I'm calling this a flared cobalt blue beautifulness. Um, again, I think this might be a Polish piece. It's got the look and feel to it. There's the bottom. See how that is your second choice. Third choice is this vintage cobalt blue violin vase. These are super collectible. I, I, I almost listed this. These do really well on eBay for those of you who are resellers. It's, a, it's been a little used. It's got a little, little schmooge going on there. 
So those are your three choices. Does it glow at the top? I don't have my black light in here. Wait, I have, this isn't really a black light. I don't ever think to check all this glowing stuff, you guys. Um, this isn't a black light. It's an LED light that kind of has some black light-ish to it. It's on my mic. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a surprise if it does. All right, I'm at $30 with Ladale. 30 with Ladale came in first. Looking for 31 or better. And remember, if you've spent $50 in today's sale, which at this point, if you bid, you would have only have previously had to spend 20, you're going to get that $15 shipping credit. Just keep it. This is the part of the sale where that comes in really handy of knowing, right? All right, 31 is with Lundy Lover. 31 is with Lundy Lover. The black light, it, it makes glass glow that contains uranium or magnesia, I want to say. There's a couple different elements that can make glass glow, and it usually indicates that it's truly vintage glass. Yeah. I'm at 35 with Jeannie's Galleria. I'm going to count them down. Be ready with your choice if you were bidding. Going once. Going twice. Manganese, selenium, and cadmium. Thank you. Is it cadmium or cadmium? I don't know. And sold. All right. I cannot tell you how much shipping will be until I get everything weighed and know your zip code because it'll depend. Shipping is generally somewhere, depending what you buy, between $12 and $17. That's like the range-ish. And there's my sold. I got Jeannie at $40. So Jeannie, you get first choice. Do you want the red, the blue, or the violin. She wants the red. She wants the red. I knew that red was going to be popular. All right. My backup bidders. Backup bidders would be, let's see, Lundy Lover first, and then Debbie Martinez. Do either of you, Lundy Lover wants the blue. Very good. Debbie Martinez, do you want the violin? Debbie Martinez, let's see, and who was after Debbie? Sherry G would have been next. Yes, okay, good to go. Thank you so much. Glad you all got something there, yay. All right, oh, this is a fun thing, this is a fun thing. This is a vintage pin the tail on the donkey game. Who remembers playing this? I gotta get, they're falling out of the bag. Oopsies. Oopsies. Come here, little donkeys. All the little paper donkey tails, some of them got a little folded over, but they're in here. This is so sweet. Samuel Lowe Company from Kenosha, Wisconsin. That's what it says on the bottom. And let me just show you. There's even, oh, there's some uncut. There's uncut donkey tails in here too. They have not all been cut. Look at that. We got, we got a bunch of uncut tails. And this, you can tell it was taped up on a wall because there's some little, you know, vintage tape remnants, but oh, look, look at him, look at the little pin the tail on the donkey, gotta love that, oh, 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 let's see, pinning the tail on the donkey, it's got the rules on there, made in USA, 
does not have a year on it anywhere. I'm going to carefully fold this back up because I don't want anything bad to happen. And then you've got the uncut tails. You got the original little pack. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what? You know what else is in here? Check this out. Some original vintage little tacks are included with this as well. How fun is that? All right. Let's see what other surprises are in this little containery. There's lots of tails, I gotta tell you. Somebody really kept all the bits and pieces of this. Okay, that's everything. So you got everything you need for your vintage pin the tail on the donkey party and complete with vintage thumbtacks. Birthday party fun, yes, yes, yes. Have it laminated and it will last forever. That is so true. Uh, yes, Debbie, you did get the violin. And we are at $12 with Roiline. $12 with Roiline going once. I'm not even going to try to stuff it all back in the bag right now because I'm going to take great care in doing that. Going twice. Uh-oh, we got a little battle right now going on. So hopefully lag is not too bad as I say. So I was wondering why that package was a little heavy. I'm like, it's just paper. No, it's because it has thumbtacks in it. How fun is that? And the winner is, I don't see it yet. It's going to be here. There it is. The winner is Decor and More for $18. Okie dokie. This is a, sorry, I was reading the bottom of it. This is a signed and numbered paperweight. Look at this classic red, white, and blue. It's the perfect paperweight for today. It is signed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it to you, but it is signed Caithness. Caithness. And it says Jamboree. I guess you can kind of see it. Caithness Glass. It's number. It is number 73 of 500. Number 73 of 500 Caithness glass. That's C-A-I-T-H-N-E-S-S. -S, Caithness. And it's heavy. So hopefully you guys don't mind if I don't hold on to it the whole time while you are bidding. I'm going to check something while you guys are doing your little bitty bidding. Please, please carry on. Uh, I have to multitask when Rachel is not here. It's what I got to do, but it's all good, right? Yeah, some of these Caithness paperweights go for really big money, really big money. I'm getting... Okay, I think I'm caught up with all my stuff. Kind of not sure. Just checking something here. Trying to find some information. Mm. Hmm. So pretty hard to find paperweight. That's what I was looking for, is to see if I could get any more info on what what that meant jamboree but uh it's a very hard to find paperweight they are scottish i'm at 40 dollars with barbara beard will the shipping be crazy from where i'm at no shipping doesn't get crazy 
I mean, it depends, of course, how much you purchase. Generally, a two pound package from me to the East Coast costs about 12 bucks. I'm going by memory there. So, and it, you know, obviously, when it gets a little heavier, it's a little more. Oh, you're in Canada. Yeah, if you're in Canada, there's first class international. Shipping tends to be between like $25 to $30. Okie dokie, we are going once. I know, prices are going up. You know what really, like, for any of you who are resellers, who still take PayPal, this is what you need to be aware of. It's not so much the postage fee that's going up. It is our PayPal fee is going up substantially. That one's got me a little scared. That one's got me a little scared because I run a lot of money through PayPal and it's going from 2.9% to 3.3 3 point something. But that's not even the worst part. The 30 cent transaction fee is going up to 49 cents. And you say, oh, that's only 19 cents. If you do a lot of transactions, Let's say I probably do a good 300 transactions a month. That's 19 cents times 300. So now I'm talking like 60 bucks plus the extra fee. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. All right. I have got, whoops. Barbara Beard at $45. Barbara's at $45. By the way, that's going to make your shipping $5 because that's what I do is if you're close to the 50, I'm not going to charge you above and beyond. You're going to pay 50. You know, it's adjusted. I'm just saying. All right. We're going twice. And so. And then I got to tell you. I'm very, very happy. Someone had actually asked to purchase that when I bought it and they never paid their invoice. So you guys got it and we got a better price for it. I'm very, very happy. All right, we're getting into the good stuff now and we're on the countdown and we're not doing bad. We're gonna, we're gonna make, oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Cause we're gonna do another choice. Choicey, choicey. Yeah. And Tabitha Wilcox, $50. Tabitha Wilcox got that for $50. Okay. This choice is also glass. This is your choice. Either this beautiful red with the clear applied handles that look like little leaves. And I'm just feeling them again just to make sure there's no issues. It is hand blown. There is your pond hole. There is your top edge. It's got some little occlusion, kind of little bubbly stuff going there. Probably Mexican glass is what I'm leaning towards on this. That's, that's my thought on this piece here. And then the other piece is this nice little blue with this kind of a little ruffly thing going here. It is also hand blown. See the pontel on the bottom. So your choice is for either the red or the blue. The red or the blue. And if you're just missing out on getting, oh, by the way, once we get to 50, you have to do a $5 bid increment anyway. Um, but if you're that close, refresh. I highly encourage you to refresh and make sure that you are as and back into live chat, not top chat, live chat. And so that you can have the best chance of getting your bid in. All right. I've got $15 with Maria Marsh. I'm at 15 with Maria. Let's go fast on this one. Get those bids in because I'm going to start counting it down. I'm at 18 with Linda, 20 with Darby. Oldenburg. And I have not seen your name before, Darby. So I'm just going to double check that I have your email before we accept your bid. 
And I do. Wait. Yep, I sure do. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm at 25 with Sherry G. Now I'm really going to count it down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. And then, of course, be ready to tell me red or blue if you are the winning bidder and if you are the underbidder and they didn't take the one you want. Be ready to tell me that, too. Letty, because this is how I do it. It's how I do it. I come from the absolute real auction world. I have managed two auction houses. And choice is something that is just a fun way to get more items into the sale. So that's why we do it. I mean, we have fun with it. All right, Darby Oldenburg, red or blue? And there hasn't been any confusion. We've been doing just fine, just fine. It's something we did too, because I had people saying, oh man, I only wanted one of those items. I didn't want them both. So yeah, it's faster. We can sell more stuff. And I need to sell more stuff, like literally need to get more stuff moved out of this house. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. My winner was Darby, right? Darby Oldenburg, you are the winner, red or blue. And Maria Marsh, you are the underbidder. Be ready. Darby, 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 where are you? Red or blue, Darby? Help me, help me. Refresh, eclectic, Corvid, refresh, and you'll see that you were after the sold. Uh, Darby takes the blue. Darby takes the blue. Oh, Maria, you wanted the blue too. So, Maria, nobody wanted the red? Nobody wanted the red, huh? Uh, who was my other? Hold on. Let me go and see who we got. Um, Sherry G. Do you want the red? Sherry G. You got next dibs at the red. Oh, Mar I'm sorry. Maria came back and said she'll take the red. All right. Maria was next there. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry. Okay, now I'm going to do this one all on its own because it's pretty fantastic. We have this clear glass decanter with the blue stopper and blue foot. And it's a really, really, again, pretty blue. I'm going to take the stopper out. Maybe. Woo. That stopper was in there good. The stopper, it's interesting. The stopper is, is rounded. See that? It's how it's supposed to be. It's how they made it. A little bit of rounding to it. Let me put the white paper up here so you can see the color of that blue. It's really pretty. Of course, why do I have shadows now? Goodness gracious. Someday I'll get this room worked out. There you go. So. And it's pretty good size. You can see that. It is pretty. 25 is a power bid. Roylene loves her glass. I got 25 with Roylene. I've got 26 with Jay. I got 26 with Jay. Keep bidding, guys. Keep bidding. I miss Rachel. I miss Rachel so much. Okay, we're good. We got the Annalise coming up next. I've got 28 with Nell Court going once. Going twice. Tabitha, you need to be 29 or better. Nell already beat you to the 28. And hopefully you get your bid in before I call this sold. Oh boy, battle to the finish here. Battle to the finish.
Oh boy. Let's see. What did we finish up? Oh, Linda Barnum got the 32. Linda Barnum got 32 in there and got it. Snagged it. Schnazzy. All right. Let's start the Annalise. I'm going to do this one on its own because this is an extra large, has its original hang tags, original price tag of $40. Let's see if it's got a year on it. Um, oh, it's numbered. This is a number. It's 2016, but it's number 42 of only 500 of this guy made. So it's a limited edition. Annalie, Uncle Sam, he is big. Yeah, look. Like, yeah, he's, he's a big boy. Why are you smacking me in the face, dude? Do you not want to be sold? All right. We are <laughs> oh, and comes with the original clear bag, protective bag that says Anna Lee. So there we go. You got that with him as well. Pretty complete little guy you got here. Uh, we've got $25 with Kathy nicely. I bought these a while ago knowing that I was saving these up for a red, white, and blue sale. And then I got it. I have to be honest. I had the shelves set up a few days ago and then it dawned on me what the date was. I'm like, ah, I got to do the red, white, and blue sale. <laughs> All right. Pam Avery's power bid puts them into free shipping mode too. Remember $5 bidding for men's over 50. We are going once. We are going twice. And we're going to call him sold. Uh-oh. Kathy Nicely, I think you need to refresh. Because we have been at the 50 for quite a few little seconds there. Where do we put you? Oh, goodness. See this lag? I just have to watch the chat and go, ah. It's all good, though. It's all good. It's all good. And there's my soul. Decor and more, I'm not sure where you're at in the sale, but I think we got a lag issue going on. Pam Avery for $60. Thank you so much. Choice on the next four. These are all Annalise. Again, I have all of their little bags. I'm just going to leave them up there. I will match up and make sure the one that's got an actual little tag on it goes with it. They all have one. And they all, I do believe, before I say that, one, two, three. Nope, he doesn't. All but one of them have their little hang tag. So I'll, I'll point that out. Here are your choices. This is 75 years and counting. This is like an anniversary edition. Uh, this one is the nine inch patriotic elf from 2016. So we're calling this one the boy with flag. Okay. we got a boy with flag. This one is a mouse with flag. This is the one that does not have a hang tag. Uh, this one may be a little bit older. Let's see. This one has its tushy tag. Yeah, this is a year 2000. This is a year 2000. It's got the tushy tag with the double zero there. So we got the mouse with flag. Remember, this is choice. Your bid amount is for one. And if you are the winner, you get your choice of one, two, three, or four. Okay, so we have the mouse with the flag. And then we have the little girl mouse. 
Uh, she's Poppy Mouse. She's six inch Poppy Mouse. And she is number 141 of 500. She is a limited edition. Uh, Sheila 2016. I don't know what that means, but there you go. So we've got the girl mouse. And then we've got the little boy mouse who also has his original tags. And he is number 16 of 500 from 2016. He's Dandy Boy Mouse. He's Dandy Boy. All right. There you go. Whoops. Come on. Stand up. There you go. Stand up. Stand up. Everybody stand up. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to try to hold them all. I think because that's just not working. <laughs> I've got Roylene at $17. Remember, we've got limited editions in here. Limited editions. There we go. There we go. Kathy Nicely is at $20. Kathy's at $20. I got Kathy at $20. 22 with Roylene. 22 is with Roylene. Are we all in all done? I got 23 with Kathy. 23 with Kathy. I got a couple of bonus items I'm throwing into the sale that just a heads up to uh, Jeannie who's kind of copying things over from the spreadsheet. I didn't actually add them in yet. No, I did one of them. So if you want to add uh, one space below the first bonus piece, I have a second bonus piece I'm throwing in. All right, I've got $30 with Kathy Nicely going once. Remember, be ready to tell me your choice or choices. Going twice. And so let's see how we end up in our little lag time here. And for those who came in after I gave the announcements in the beginning, if you've been waiting for a porch project update, guess what's in tomorrow's video? You will see. Um, I, I've taken a little bit of footage of me actually working on the porch along the way. So we got that. And you're going to see where I'm. It's not finished. It's not completely finished. But it's finished enough to show you where I'm at with it. So that's coming tomorrow. Margaret Albers. Uh, Margaret gets first choice at $35. Margaret, Margaret, let me know. And then um, backup bidders. Where's my backup bidders? Are Kathy Nicely, you would get second choice. And, oh, wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, yeah, that's right. That's right. And then Maria Marsh would get third choice. Okay. So please, please, please be ready. She said Poppy. Which one? Okay. Killing me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. She was Poppy. The girl mouse. Okay. Girl mouse. I didn't memorize their names. Okay. So my backup bidder, who did I say was my backup? Who did I say was my backup now? Oh, my brain. Kathy Nicely, and then Maria Marsh. Kathy Nicely, then Maria Marsh. Do you want one of these guys? There's two limited editions here. Takes the 75th anniversary. Kathy takes 75th anniversary. That leaves the little boy mouse and the, oh, well, you're, you're in the, the mouse with the flag. So we got the mouse with the, this is the year 2001. And then we got, so who was, who was next? Maria Marsh, I think I said was next. All right. Uh, Maria Marsh, you were next. And Roylene, you were behind that. So Maria Marsh. 
You wanted, oh, you wanted the girl. Okay, Roylene, did you want either of these? Roylene, let me know. And if Roylene does not want, she wants them both. Okay, you got it. Thank you so much. Everybody, thank you so much for your bidding. All right, we've got a little white hobnail dish. I'm just going to do this one all on its little lonesome here. I don't know if this is Moonstone or if it's actually Fenton. Anchor Hawking makes Moonstone. I can never tell how you tell the difference. I'm leaning towards this being Fenton because of the crimping, which seems very Fenton-esque to me. But it is a white opalescent. And it is up for bid. We're getting down to the last items, guys. Last items. And then I'm going to give some stuff away. Did I mention I give stuff away at the end? I totally give stuff away. So don't leave. Stick around. Even if you didn't win anything in the sale today, you can still get a giveaway. I'll tell you in a minute. All right, we are at $12 with Kathleen Dumas, $13 with Lundy Lover, $13 is with Lundy Lover. I'm going to count this one down. We're going once. We're going twice. And... Oh, look, look, it looks like one of those filters. I'm going to call this one. That's a really weird number coming through. What the heck is that? Weird, weird, weird. Look down, my phone's doing something weird. Okay. Okay, you guys are seeing me do that, which means you're hearing me out of said soul. Someone know it's in there. You could win a brand new car. There's a soul hole. It's emotions. Okay, uh, 26. Six dollars to Lundy Lover. Twenty-six to Lundy Lover. All right, I didn't get all the schmooze off of this one. All right, but I love this. Look at this little tea light holder. I promise I'll get the schmooze off before it ships. This is called Flame of Devotion Circle of Love by. Oof! Can't read that. Maybe I can read it if I put it up here. Kim Lawrence, there we go. Kim Lawrence, Circle of Love, Flame of Devotion, 2001, UNESCO. Look how sweet that is with the little birds, the little couple, with the little birds. I love this. I love this. All right, we're going to go fast because I got a couple more things to get to. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Any interest? Nobody likes it. Well, there's some bids. Okay. I thought you guys would love this. Uh, $10. $10 with Barbara Phillips. I got Barbara first at $10. $11, George Ann Kessner. I got $11 with George Ann. Such a simple little design. I contemplated keeping this one because I like the rules. I just like the simplicity of it just speaks joy to me just peace just ah oh, yes okay <laughs> 20 dollars with maria marsh 20 with maria let's count it down going once going twice looks like the scene from bridesmaids when they're fighting over the well, you just took all the peace away from it. 
That's hilarious. Ah, uh, we're gonna call this one soul. That is a funny movie. I have I have not watched a movie in I don't know how long. I just never. Um, my life revolves around like you know twenty to thirty minute YouTube videos now. I, you know I try to uh, try to watch everybody's YouTube videos out there and kind of stay up on what everybody's doing, and I end up falling asleep. Okie dokie. Jeannie got that for twenty five dollars. You're traumatized. <laughs> All right. We got this really cool, I'm calling it the finger vase. Uh, it's just, it's just one of those odd pieces, but I kind of love it. And uh, I almost used this on the porch project. This was a, this was a porch project almost used piece. Uh, nothing on the bottom, has some sticker schmoosh, but no maker or anything on the bottom. It's got a very, uh, uh, I, I just almost, I hate to say it, it's got a little bit like of a Pier 1 Ikea kind of vibe going to me. That's just going to be honest. But that's what we got. A brush, oh, it would be a really good brush holder. And we are at $6. $10. The porch. Well, let's see. I just put clear paneling up to kind of enclose it in a little bit, and it took it took 24 feet of paneling. And we, we might have cut a foot off of that, so it's it's almost 20 foot long. It's 20 foot long, and I'm gonna say it's about nine or ten feet deep. It's, it's a really nice size porch. Indeed, I love it. $12 with Darby Oldenburg. Bree, you would be so proud. Bree knows what that porch looked like a few months ago. Bree, I can't wait to see your comment because you know, you know what that porch did to be transformed. It was my dumping ground. It was where all the boxes got put and it was, it was bad. It was bad. All right, $13. Going once. Going twice. And sold. And we're going to do our bonus pieces. I, I had to throw these bonus pieces in because they're so 4th of July. They are just so 4th of July. I could not not throw these in. Just could not. So, finish off that last lot. There we go. That is going to Joan Griswold for $16. Thank you, Joan. Now, let me just explain this piece. Um, this piece is Somebody told me who made this piece. Uh, I don't remember. It might have been like an Avon. Now, at one point, it had um, fiber optic little things that shot out, like those little uh, fiber optic thread things that made like fireworks. Those are gone. I have not tested if the light comes on on the porch. Um, it takes batteries. Uh, I do not have an adapter, but it's probably a pretty standard adapter if you wanted to plug it in. But it was just so stinking cute all on its own. I could not leave it behind. Looks like it would have had a flag. So it needs a little TLC, uh, but that's why I start things at $1. And so if someone could give this guy a new home. And if nobody wants it, I would just totally use it in my decor. This house has never been in a fire. 
correct. Okay. Barbara Phillips, $5. Thank you, Barbara. It's just look at all the detail. I'm pretty sure the windows are supposed to light up. I see the porch has the light. So, and you can probably replace those little fiber optic threads. It's probably not hard to find those at like, you know, Hobby Lobby or something and make it work. Make it work. $10 with Kathy nicely. $10 with Kathy. Kathy. My jaw's getting tired. I'm yapping too much. Here you go. $10 is already with Kathy, Jay. We need $11 or better. I'm going to count it down because we got to get finished up. Going once. Going twice. And sold. And then I will show you the second bonus item. And then we're going to give some stuff away. So I'm going to get my giveaways over here while you guys are finishing up the bidding. Love to put extras in your packages. Love to do it. Love to do it. And that's going to uh, Velma Mendoza. Velma Mendoza. I'm just going to double check, Velma, that I've got your email since you are a name that I, oh, well, you bought from me before. Never mind. What am I saying? You're good to go. Okay. So, Melissa, if you want to type in that lot 42 bonus piece, this is an Uncle Sam coffee mug. I want you for U.S. Army nearest recruiting station. Very, very clean mug. This is by Imperial War Museum. So it was, it was a souvenir piece. You can see there on the bottom. But it's classic Uncle Sam on both sides. Both sides. Let's see if somebody's doing some typing over there. I've got E. Danny Miller at $2 on Uncle Sam. $5 with Warren Hart. $5 is with Warren Hart. We're going to go fast, guys, because we got some stuff to give away. And I am so happy. We got through all this stuff on pretty much on time. It's fail. Like, I remember when I used to struggle to get through like 30 items on time. We got this worked out now, you guys. You're the best crew of mods over there, I got to say. I just want to give the biggest shout out to my moderators because I could not do this without them. There is no way I would even try. And I don't pay them very well. Actually, I don't pay them at all. They're volunteers. And so everybody give a big, big, big thank you to all of the awesome moderators over in my chat. Those are the ones with the blue names and the wrenches. Many of them have channels of their own. Be sure you go check out their channels. See what they're posting about. Probably some pretty groovy stuff. Just saying. Yes. Applause, applause, applause. All right. And let's see. I'm at $13 with Warren Hart. And we're going to say, going once. Going twice. He's a little creepy, isn't he? We won't go so close. And sold. Now I get to give stuff away. I love to do. Let me pull up my little giver, my giver aware thing. My giver aware thingamabobber thing. If I can find it, there it is. There we go. All set. Okay. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Um, the winner was looks like Warren for $13 on the Uncle Sam. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is give things away. Now, the way this works, if you already purchased something from me, it's just getting thrown in your package. 
if you have not purchased something from me, you will have to pay the shipping. Okay. So these are like shipping only if you didn't win anything else in the sale. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show an item. And I'm, going to, I'm going to give you a number. So everybody who is interested in that item types the number over in the chat. I count them up. And then I have this little random number generator who's going to tell me who the winner is. So the first item is a little dainty milk glass bud vase like so. And the number on the bud vase is number six. <coughs> number six on the bud vase. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Jeannie. I was just grabbing stuff. I wasn't paying. You don't need to type these in, Jeannie. You don't need to type these in. Just, I'll just say them and just match them up because I'm just going to kind of grab and go. My apologies. Make sure you only type in the number one time. I'm going to count them up, but I'm going to say stop. If one of my mods could type in stop, and I'm going to count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. My eyes are watering. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Oh, it just, it just jumped on me. Okay. This is the hard part. When the chat keeps going, it jumps on me. So if my mods can help me count that number. Oh, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, we got, I got, I'm going to count it above the, the stop. So I got 35. Sorry, guys, because it'll take forever if I just hold it open for everybody to type in. So the winner is woo, number 29. Number 29. So let me figure out who that is. Should be able to count backwards. 5, 4, 3, 32, 31, 30. Sissy Hernandez. Sissy Hernandez, you're the winner, and I don't believe you won anything, so make sure that I have your YouTube name, your real name, and your zip code, and I will be sending an invoice for the shipping on that. Okay? The next item is, uh, where's my sheet? I have this little, cute, little red pot that has I think that's like a radish on there right it's just a cute little miniature red pot there's the bottom the number on this one is 22 22 is the number on the little red pot number 22 I'm looking over on another computer screen to actually count up the numbers, because that one doesn't do weird stuff on me. And say, I'm um, say, and type stop. So I'm counting while that lag's going. It's my time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 24. Oh, it jumped again. Oh, it's killing me with the jumping. Holy moly. I don't even know how to deal with that. Okay. Ah! I can't make it stop doing that. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I've got 29. All right. Got to put the right number in here. And number 14. So let me 
count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maria Marsh, Maria Marsh, Maria Marsh. All right. See Sissy's message. Um, oh, Sissy, that is so amazing of you. That is so amazing of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, and Melissa always puts that down on the, in the invoice as well. Okay. I have this little ballerina slipper. And what was pointed out to me is it is missing one of its ribbons. Didn't even notice it until somebody told me. This is a one of those real shoe slippers. I just thought it's so amazing that someone will love it. So I'm going to give it away. And the number is 14. The number is 14. Fourteen is the number. Okay, and I'm going to try to keep up with counting these. And if one of my moderators could type stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got 19. I got 19. Oh, this will make it easy. The number is four. And that makes this going to Barbara Phillips. Barbara Phillips gets the shoe. The ballerina slipper. Shoe, ballerina slipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And back over to my little sheet here. What else am I giving away? Oh, how about a little chefy guy? I got a little chefy guy. He's just a little single shaker. You know, I like to give away just little fun stuff. He can uh, keep somebody happy in the kitchen. And his number is number two. Number two. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, the numbers really come in um, okay for me to count them. They, they just, when they go really fast and I'm counting, it doesn't, it just won't stop and it just, it just kind of explodes numbers. That's all good. It's all good. We'll get it going. We're almost done. Almost done. And if one of my moderators could type stop, that would be amazing. And I will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 three, twenty, four, twenty, five, twenty, six, twenty, seven, twenty, eight, twenty, nine, thirty, twenty, one, twenty, two. I've got thirty-two. Thank you guys. You guys were counting with me. That is helpful. Thirty-two. And the winner is. Oh, I got to go find who number 18 is. All right, stand by. Let's figure out who number 18 is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I got Jeannie's Galleria. Jeannie, you're getting a little chef guy. All right, two to go, and we're out of here. And then I got to go pick up Rachel from her horsey camp. She's good. She's been telling me these days, mom, pick me up late. She's hanging out with her friends. Okay. I got this little, I got this little pottery bear, little ornament guy. Nothing quite on the bottom. He's just got this brown glaze thing going. His number is number 77. Number 77 on little Mr. Bear. Number 77. Number 77. 
Yeah, please, you guys, only put your number in one time, please. Please, please, please. All right. And if one of my moderators could type in stop. Let's see who we got. Oh boy, you guys, you guys like the bear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, fourteen, twenty-one. Ah, oh, just jumped on me again. It's okay. I remember the name. Holy moly! What happened here? There we go. I got twenty-nine. Good. You guys got twenty-nine too. We got 29. And we got number 12 is the winner. Let me go back up, see who that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. That would be Debbie Martinez. Debbie Martinez for the win. All right. Last one. Last but not least is a single butterfly coaster. Little single butterfly, little vintage coaster. His number is going to be ah number. Okay, I'm gonna make this fun, guys. I'm gonna make it fun. 1776. <laughs> The number is 1776 on the butterfly coaster. Since we are celebrating the, is it the, is it the birth or the anniversary of our country? July 4th. All right, let me do a little count. And if one of my moderators could type in stop. I will start counting. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, it just bounced and I forgot the name. Crazy, crazy chat. I got 24. You guys got 25. Uh, you know what? Three of you are saying 25. I'm going to trust you. And I'm going to put in 25. How's that? So the winner is ah, number 21. So I'm not going to count backwards because my count was off. So let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm such a dork. I just kept counting. Ah! But I did count 25 that time. So, so 25, 24, 23, 22. Did I do that right? That would be Deborah Heimbecker. <laughs> Deborah Heimbecker for the butterfly. Oh my goodness. Woo, doggies. That's it, everyone. Only 10 minutes after. Not bad, not bad. All of that was giving stuff away. You guys, thank you so much. And uh, there's still 225 of you here. And I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you hanging out with me this afternoon and watching the videos and supporting the channel. I got some pretty fun stuff coming up. Going to be announcing soon. I got to get through my little trip to uh, Tampa, Florida that I'm going to. And when I come back, hang on. We're going to do some fun stuff together, including, okay, I'm just going to tell you because you guys are still here. And most people don't watch all the way to the end on the replay. So only those of you here 
are getting this announcement, I am going to do a service where I will come shopping with you. So you can bring me shopping with you to your Goodwill, to your Salvation Army, wherever you go, to your flea market. You can take me along with you. We've been working out the technology on doing that. And that is coming very, very soon. Because I want to help you guys not pass by that super awesome, profitable stuff off the shelves. I want to help all of you make more money and have more fun doing it. So yes, that's coming soon. But shh, super secret, like you guys are the only ones that know about that. It's not a big general announcement yet. So thank you for being here again. Thank you to my amazing moderators who helped make it all happen and uh, have a very, very happy, safe 4th of July weekend. I will be live on Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern. Now, I don't know what we're talking about yet. We're going to talk about something. And until then, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Remember, invoices will be going out tomorrow night. All right, everyone. Bye.